just kind of kept it steady. But I, I shit a five point star. I don't know how I did it, just somehow the way that it laid, it was like, uh, like that. And that was my best shit ever. That was number That's one. Impressive. I shat a star, Jesus got bored under that. You know how fucking impressive that is? Uh, Sewer I'm, Jesus. Was <laughs> That's impressive. I'm actually Jewish, so mine was a six point star. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can we joke about that yet? Like, too soon? It's like, when you're in the pandemic, fuck the bushfires, dude. This was a, t a whole tragedy ago, all right? Yeah. Like, we've had another tragedy already. This is 2020 yeah. season two shit, you know? Like, I don't even remember who the characters <laughs> were in season one. I don't really care, to be honest. I just like that I'm right. Uh, <laughs> There's always a right answer. I'm doing a middle-aged man desperately trying to hold on to his youth by playing rec league soccer. <laughs> they call that the stepdad in the, in the business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We get to ask each other a question that we've always wanted to ask each other. What is the worst it's gone for you when you've gotten high? This is such an easy fucking question. This is easier than the best shit I ever took. This is a fucking easy question. <laughs> then we go to you guys. We have a chat to you guys. Wait a second. His uh, name wait, is, is Richard it? Johnson. Holy shit. Dick Johnson? I finally met you. The guy's name is Dick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Middle name Peter. Middle name Peter. <laughs> and he's always trying to learn a foreign language via a headset. That's his whole thing. He, he was trying to do an American character and he named him Dick Johnson. And the fact that you, a call this Dick is Johnson. this is amazing. This is you're okay. American. Anyway, Richard, and you got a headset that our... Dick Johnson would totally wear while he's learning Spanish out loud on a train. <laughs> Someone said, "Is uh, Muggleton my real surname?" Uh, Richard Knoll. Yes, it is. That is my real surname. No one who is trying to get ahead in entertainment decides on Muggleton. <laughs> And then you guys get to ask us whatever you want. It's called Ask Us Anything for a Reason. It's get high every day. It's do enough to get you high every day. I go by the letter of the law. I'm not trying to cheat this shit. This is the question I was asked. Gentlemen, what is your favorite conspiracy theory? There, there is a group of people online who believe that I am an actor who plays Edward Snowden. That Edward Snowden is not real. <laughs> I actually got into like the moon landing one when I was like 14. And then I just realized like, I don't know, I don't want to be punched by Buzz Aldrin. I'll, I'll let it slide, you know? And the moon landing to me is the ultimate example of there's no fucking way that would they would have kept that quiet. You think that someone wasn't gonna try to pick up women with that? In the 70s? <laughs> hey Steve, did your mom ever catch wind of your 420 episode? She did, and she was supportive, and I'm so surprised. <laughs> I... Suck, sucky, or suckiest? Question? That sounds like a category. Very, very adult. Please don't tell Steve's mom. If you could have dinner with three people, living or dead, who would you have dinner with? <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh, <laughs> Donald Trump, and George Carlin. And George Carlin would be the one that I would want to be living. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something that might be on the internet that you're afraid that somebody might find and ask you questions about? Well, fuck, what did you find? Um, <laughs> I like to think that I could stand by anything I've written or done or said. So what the fuck did you find, Savannah? What did you find? <laughs> then at the end, we finish off with a would you rather. Steve, you said no fuck, marry, kills. We're going, would you rather now? We're not doing fuck, marry, kills anymore. I have fucked, married, and killed every single <laughs> thing on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be caught with no pants at a funeral or at a wedding? Look, at a wedding, you've drank too much. At a funeral, you're like masturbating to a corpse. This is the one time that I think it's okay to have no pants if it's <laughs> your funeral. I think that's good. <laughs> Just give everyone a last look. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of be like the rigor mortis has set in, ladies. Here, fuck it. I'm ending this right now, dude. I'm ending this right now. <laughs> Please don't do that. It, Jesus, I don't want to see your feet. It's called Ask Us Anything, not Show Us Everything. Come on, man.